Tom McDonald, Sheeple. What did I think of this? If you haven't heard it down below, but I'm pretty sure you probably have, which is why you're watching this video. Too long didn't read version. This song is absolutely brilliant and he is dropping some truth bombs left, right and centre. Longer version. If you think he's just talking right wing points or left wing points, then you miss the point and you're part of the problem. That is, he is alluding to all the divide which is being created in the society and how people will start to take sides. And this is what I would call an affinity group side. We all have affinity for certain things. Now, in the third party rule, what I call the third party rule, two people can always sort out their differences unless there's a third party who stirs one of them up and continually stirs them up against the other. That's the third party rule. It's very insidious because often that third party goes unnoticed by both people. And sometimes that third party is stirring up two people at the same time. And they won't notice it, but they will start to get stirred up against each other. And now that I mentioned stirred up, you might have heard the analogy of the red ants and the black ants happily being in a jar together until someone shakes up the jar. Then they start attacking each other. So the question is, who is shaking up the jar? And this is the person that Tom is alluding to that you cannot criticize. And we are the ants in this case. So we are the ants happily going about our business. We don't care whether there's a red ant or a black ant next to us until someone stirs up the jar to make that an issue. And in the case of roosters, in the rooster fights, two humans are holding the roosters and stirring them up against each other, then dropping them and watching them fight. If the roosters were smart about it, they'd be like, Bro, I don't have a problem with you. It's this human that's making me all angry against you. How about we just don't fight? So you can see the issue going on here. Who's stirring up the roosters? Who's shaking the jar of ants? These are the people you're not allowed to criticize. However, you can look into it yourself. You can be aware that it is actually going on. And this is what Tom is alluding to. This is the sort of thing that's going on. Now, back in the 50s and 60s, we had strong family units. We had street fulls of family units. We had suburbs full of such streets and so on. If you can get the adults to be hedonistic and, and go after their own desires and my individualism, then that family unit starts to break down. Now, you still might have a strong, cohesive society or at least a suburb because everybody has an affinity for their suburb. Now, if there's enough ethnic diversity within that suburb, maybe you can convince them to hate each other along their ethnic lines. Whereas once before they didn't care, now you are going to stir them up. You're going to be the person holding the one ethnic group and one ethnic group, and you're going to stir them up and then just drop them down and watch them fight, sit back and go, ha ha ha, look at that. Isn't that fun for us being up here? We're the ones that did that. And this is what I feel Tom is alluding to. Once you've done that, you start to get a disconnect within your suburb, within your society. And then it's very easy to manipulate the people over and over and over and over again. And especially if you've convinced them to always tune into your propaganda. If they're always listening and watching your propaganda, then you've controlled them fully. And what Tom is alluding to here is that very fact that if you are watching that propaganda and going along with it, then you are the sheeple. And it doesn't matter how righteous you think you are by going along with it. If they like oxygen, I'm going to wear a plastic bag and I'm going to scream my righteousness to it. I'm going to put on a mask and I'm going to lambast anyone that doesn't put on a mask. That kind of a thing. Where did that come from? Where did that hatred come from? It doesn't come from inside. It comes from outside. It's outside planted into you that you then bring it back out of you against the other group. Propaganda and manipulation complete. The jar shaking of the ants is satisfied. The stirring up of the roosters has been successful. And that's what Tom's alluding to in this song. That's what I feel he's alluding to in this song. And he's letting you know it's going on in all the ways 
that it's going on. And that's why I think this song is absolutely pure genius, as well as at the same time, he can say all of that in four minutes, which has just taken me way longer to tell you. He can say all of that in that short period of time and make it rhyme and be a catchy little song at the same time. In any case, that's what I think of it. Let me know what you think down below.